Hello again, every guys. My name's Voco, and today I promised last video that I was going to show this. So today I'm going to show you how to make a five-minute timer that every five minutes sets the weather to clear and time to day. So on this world, I haven't had it rain and I haven't had it night time unintentionally for about the last three and a half thousand times I played it. Basically. It works permanently until you got to refill um, the dispensers every now and then. So this works on a basic principle that when you have a dispenser like this, it gets powered like that. So I might just grab some glass so I can show you. Yeah. So what's going to happen is if an item's in this dispenser, let's get a stack of dirt, place it in there. If you put an item on the pressure plate first time, that was a fail. As soon as it gets off, that item will fall down onto that pressure plate, turning the torch off. Now, as soon as that five minute timer on the item disappears, um, which we can simulate just by picking it up, what happens again is the tor torch turns on for a second and the dispenser starts again. So every five minutes you can send a pulse out and a signal this varies slightly and you can't get a spot on five minutes because of the second that it takes to hit and fall on the pressure plate go one so it takes one and a half seconds and of course you'd block up the sides and the top just so it can't go anywhere else but the basic idea of this is that you can create a five minute timer and as you saw over there I had four of them in a circle so um, that was a different way but as you know, the on the way to do that is get a command block, and the only way to c obtain a command block it is not available in creative mode at the moment in the snapshot 50A. So you have to go give X your name. That's not my name. I'm just saying. And then you go 137, and then the amount you want, and that would give you one. Um, so I've got a command block here, and all you need to do is simply place it next to there, and next to there. So now you can go slash time set 1000. If you notice when you go time set 0, it gets a little darker compared to time set 1000. I'd rather keep it bright like this, so I always set it to time set 1000. Besides, at a 5 minute interval, it doesn't really matter because it's all only going to get to time 6000, which is just past midday, like the sun will be there in the sky and then it will just reset to there. So it doesn't really matter um, if it's between... 1,000 to 3,000 I think and I go weather clear now the commands are like are as follows weather rain changing to rainy weather weather clear and so every five minutes what's gonna happen is that's gonna change the commands now as you can see in the bottom left corner there is two commands. Uh, two, there are four sets of two things that appeared. And those are faded away. And so let's simulate the five minutes. That goes on. And then after five minutes, it despawns. Let's just simulate that now. So it automatically sets the time back to there. And the weather is clear. But if you want to build them in a circle, uh, circle way like this, you can do that. As you can just see, it's the same as back there, except the torches are under those command blocks. So it will just go from one dispenser to another, and I at the moment have an anvils, like anvils being shot out of these dispensers. And the good thing if you fill them up to the full thing, it takes nine times sixty-four. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to bother to think of it, just because I'm very very lazy. And um, anyway, and another cool method of doing this is if you really want, you can actually make a one-minute timer which is I think less known still known but less known oh sorry my bad that's not what you do um got to get a button this time so it basically relies on um the fact that arrows take 1 minute to despawn now and yes so we're going to um We remove that. So every time, like, an arrow gets shot out of here. 
it's and after those arrows despawn, it sends another one out. Oh, I forgot we don't even need that really. It just sends another arrow out. Oh, wait, we do. <laughs> I'm my bad. So it sends another arrow out every time the arrow will despawn. So if it despawns, it sends another one out, and you can just have a trail of redstone going out from here. And that's another way to do it. And they're fairly accurate. I haven't had a misfire, misfire yet. Um, and it does send a two pulse. But I don't, I don't find anything wrong with that. I mean, if you have a skeleton grinder like I do in my world, I have too much arrows. Especially since I have an infinity bow, I never use the arrows for anything. It's crazy. Mental. Not needed. So that's a good way to get rid of your arrows if you really need. That does not need command blocks to make a five minute timer. Um, I mean, you can have command blocks if you want to make a one minute timer. Um, but anyway... That was another video, and I hope you enjoy it. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and so other people can see it. And I will see you for another video. Bye. You know, I really should add dramatic music there.